Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. What are, the, what are the side effects of estrogen? Well, you know, at menopause, there's a drop in estrogen by up to 90%. That's a huge drop. And even progesterone drops by about 66%. At the same time, there's a surge of other hormones like follicle-stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, even adrenaline gets into the act. And that's what produces hot flashes, night sweats, insomnia. And then you have changes to the skin, changes to libido sometimes, uh, hair can become thinner, all kinds of menopausal symptoms. So, you know, women now live one-third of their lives in the postmenopausal years, and, and they want to feel good quality of life and well-being. So doctors and the pharmaceutical companies said, well, well, maybe we should just give women the estrogen and progesterone back. So they, they created these sort of hormone replacement therapy drugs, and they have estrogen in them. The problem originally was that uh, the first estrogens that were used, and they were used for a long time, and they're still used today, are estrogens that were taken from the urine of pregnant horses, from mares. So that's why they're called, it's really like, drugs like Premarin, for instance, really means pregnant mares urine, which is, you know, remarkable when you think about it. So they take estrogens from horses and give them to humans. So right away you think, maybe this could be too powerful for a human. And those estrogens are too powerful for humans. And then they went on to do something else. A lot of these companies made synthetic progesterones rather than using natural progesterone. They say, well, we can't really own natural progesterone and we're in the business of owning things. So they invented synthetic progesterones, which turned out to be a bit of a disaster. Natural progesterone is great. Synthetic progesterones, not such a good idea. But in fairness, those original estrogen and progesterones helped to reduce risk of osteoporosis. Where it all fell apart was particularly the estrogen component, which is the most dangerous part of this. Estrogen is linked to an increased risk of breast cancer and cause some other side effects. So a lot of evidence was building behind the scenes and doctors weren't really paying attention to it. But I was following the literature very carefully and saw some of the telltale signs, you know, 15 years ago. But it wasn't until the year 2002 that the Women's Health Initiative study was published in the United States and the Million Women study was published in the United Kingdom. And what it showed is that women who are using these types of hormone replacement therapy with these, with these conjugated equine estrogens had a 26% increased risk of breast cancer, had a 29% increase in heart, heart attacks, and a 41% increase in stroke. And so you're saying, how could this happen? Well, the estrogen is largely responsible because estrogen causes cells to divide quickly. And that was causing breast cells to divide fast. When, when cells divide fast, they make more genetic mistakes that lead to cancerous mutations. That's how the cancer gets there. And the estrogen at a high level like that is causing a lot of fibrinogen to get into the bloodstream from the liver. And that causes the blood to thicken and form abnormal clots, which can lead to a stroke, a heart attack, deep vein thrombosis, other vascular problems. And the synthetic progesterone, I can tell you, was not helping matters much. Whereas natural progesterone is really good for maintaining bone density and libido and skin uh, integrity and libido, all that stuff, well-being. But synthetic progesterones were causing some of the problems as well. So the impact of these uh, types of estrogen on breast cancer alone, uh, we saw almost right away, as soon as doctors saw that these things were significant, they were told in the year 2002 to stop prescribing these types of estrogen drugs, uh, hormones in that form, and between 2002 and 2003, as they started to decrease the prescriptions, breast cancer incidence dropped immediately by 7%. This was reported at the 29th Annual San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium and reported in Time Magazine in the year 2003 by Colada, if you want to look it up. So since then, doctors have done other things. They've prescribed antidepressants and anti-anxiety drugs to help women get through menopause. I don't think that's the answer. Uh, sometimes hormone replacement therapy is required, including those dangerous estrogens. A woman who's had their ovaries removed uh, at a young age still needs hormones, so that's the only way she can really get them. I'm not against that. And women who are having a really difficult time going through menopause, they've tried the natural things that I'm going to talk to you about in a second, and it hasn't worked for them. They've tried natural progesterone, it didn't work for them. Then you're going to have to give them some forms of estrogen. Um, the thing is that doctors are now told if they're going to give those estrogen-type drugs because they are dangerous to use 
to give it to women for the shortest period of time at the lowest possible dosage, which I do agree with. Some doctors are using bioidentical hormones now where they take steroids from certain plants and animals, manipulate them around to make estrogens and progesterone and so on that look like the body's own hormones and claim that they're much safer. The truth is we don't know 100% if those estrogens are entirely safe. It's, still, it's too early to know that. So in my world, what I suggest women do, could, because I've seen it work, for 80% of women or more, there are c combinations of natural herbal agents that are proven in scientific studies to help women get through menopause uh, without uh, reduce the symptoms dramatically, give them a great sense of well-being, maintain their libido and all the other things they want to be able to experience without the, the toxicity and without the risk of breast cancer and heart attacks and stroke. So that's the first thing women should do. And because most doctors don't study that much nutrition and natural medicine in medical school, most of them don't really even know the information exists. So what I've done is I've put it together for you in an ebook that you can download here. It's called The, the Natural Management of Menopause. Every woman should read it because you'll see the scientific references at the end so you know that these studies are for real and they're from peer-reviewed scientific journals. Plus, a lot of us who have been out there doing this with women uh, have experience showing the benefit. And so the less you have to rely on estrogens as a hormone replacement, believe me, the better off you're going to be overall. So I suggest you download the ebook right now. Now at machinohealth.com you'll see my other research review papers, you'll see other videos I've created, footage from my live professional seminars, other resources and downloads that I've created that will help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. Uh, the research articles and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references so you know you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health subject you might be looking for. And so I would suggest strongly that if you're looking for health and wellness information that you use machinohealth.com as an ongoing reliable resource uh, for you and, and your family members as well. Now thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Thank you.